Hello, Fiona Whitten from Oakville Crafts here and welcome to today's virtual card and a cuppa. Um, for those of you who don't know me, as I said, my name is Fiona Whitten. Um, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Wokingham in Berkshire in the UK. Um, so I hope you've all been having a good week. I'm just bear with me. I just want to double check that I am actually going out live. Looks like I am, so that's good. Husband's not here at the moment, so I'm gonna not hopefully not gonna have a problem with the internet like I have been in the last couple of weeks, but hey, here we go. Right, anyway, so virtual cards and the cuppa. Um so this morning I was at the Grange uh chocolate cafe over at the home Grange um craft village. Um, and we meet there on the first and third Wednesdays of each month at 10 o'clock and we sit and make a card and I, pr I produce two kits, uh, one for the first Wednesday and um, another for the third Wednesday of the month. Um, and so this was the cards that were made, well these were the samples that I took this morning. So you can see there's lots of gold on there. Um, so I'll talk you through those in a second. I just wanted to share the kit. So everybody always gets an envelope and a card base, of course. So this card base is a pecan pie. So it's an A4 sheet cut in half. The other half would have been here, thereabouts. Um, so it's been cut at 14.9 and then turned and scored at 10 and a half. But is this a rather gorgeous gold sheet? from the Nature Sweetness Speciality Paper. It's a 12 by 12 sheet, it's a whole pack is a 12 by 12 sheet, and it's one that has carried over into the new annual catalog. Uh, it's hidden away, so you will find it on page 107, um, and I'll share with you the other sheets in a minute. But, so this has got gold, um, as you can see it's leaves, um, slightly raised, and on, on the other side um, there's some words. So that was the first sheet that they got. Uh, there's a piece of basic white, which is for the inny. Um, they all got a piece of, another piece of the um, speciality paper. So this is a sheet that contains six images and there are three images, three different images. So this is um, almond. So this is an almond blossom and um, nut. Um, and leaves uh, and I'll show you the others in a minute too so so everybody had different ones but so there was three in total um, so you get six on each sheet a uh, little piece of uh, pecan pie and then this is a die cut from the uh, lovely and sweet uh, bundle so that was the kit so this is the paper, hopefully you can see it. And normally there would be a sixth sheet here, um, but because the sixth sheet is the one with, with the six images, um, obviously I'm not gonna fit it in there. So um, all of the six different sheets have gold foiling on in some form or another, be it a gold background, some gold splodges, these are gold, um, flowers so this is all three of the flowers actually on here um, bear with me because my it now says that my video has ended and I hope it hasn't it's a pain in the neck so we'll see um, and there's some wordings this is wording uh, black wording uh, oh, sort of grey in fact actually thinking about it, it's probably pebble path um, with the gold splotches on and then this is a, a pebble path background with gold lettering this is the leaves um, that's a different sort of gold background and then on the reverse side um, again you've got some floral images some words um, some just um, it kind of look like nut lines in a notebook um, so that's those and then these are the three um, and I've actually written on here just so that you can see what the images actually are. So there's vanilla pods with the flower. 
the uh, almond as I said so we've got the nuts and then the uh, flowers and leaves and then this is a uh, cocoa um, pods again with um, some some leaves and on the reverse side of that is the gold which is a rather nice it's it sort of looks like it's missing bits but I actually quite like the idea of having these sort of patches and uh, blank areas so that's that Oh dearie me, what am I going to do? Oh, here we go, I'm back again. Oh, gotta love this, haven't you? Anyway, so so that's so that's the um so the sixth sheet has these in a row and then they're duplicated again underneath. So you have six of two of each the three flowers that you can see. And then what you do with them is entirely up to you. So that was the paper. I also took with me the lovely and sweet stamp set, which you will find on, and I do have, I do, I do find it. You'll find it um, in the, uh, on page 78, so it's in the middle row outside. So you have the stamp set and you have the coordinating dies. Um, so in the last catalogue they were a bundle, um, but now going forward they're individual um, items. So I took that with me. So I took all the stamps with me, and I didn't. I used the dies solely just for that one little piece. And I'll show you. So I can put these onto any um, magnetic sheets yet. So each of these will. So these three, one, two, three, will cut out the stamped images, one, two, three. Um, and you'll find that when, so I can't do this because this is at 90%, but I've got the stamp here. There's actually a little bit on the bottom that actually gives the Latin name for each of the, um, the images. So that won't get cut out. So you'll only ever get that on the um, when you stamp it and you don't actually um, have it cut it out. So you can see it's right on the corner there. So you um, you don't actually get that bit cut out. And then there are so there's three that so we've got that's the uh, almond, the vanilla and the cocoa. And then we've got, this is like the little label that we've got. To be honest, I haven't yet figured out what this is. I did start to wonder whether or not it should be something that go on the end, but I really don't think so. It's, it looks a bit too small for a pot. But although having said that, you could use it to then create a little flower scene with these other dies and just have that little, little flowers. So maybe that's what it's for. Um, I've not had this very long, but I will find out and I'll let you know as to what it is that it's supposed to be. I suspect actually it could be that and I'm going to give that a go. So that's the stamp set and the um, actual dies. And so I've actually written on the inside of mine on a piece of paper as to what each of these, that's the Latin and the actual um, English name. So that was that. Okay, so... We'll, what did the samples look like? So these, I took three samples, as, as I said, with me. Um, the, everyone had a, a full size piece. So this is actually, I seem to remember it's three, it's four by six. Yeah. So I literally took the 12 by 12 and cut it into six pieces so they each measure four inches by six inches so they're a little bit large for our card fronts um, so my instructions which I put in the actual card was for this for this particular one and you could do it exactly the same with my this is the one that I'm going to be using was to cut off um, 
cut this to nine and a half and then this to 13.9 which meant that you would have a piece here that you didn't use so it's about one and a half centimeters and what I did so you need to cut that off first before you start sticking everything um, so literally I cut, cut it to size glued it to the 12 the um, the gold paper put it on the card front and then the bit that I had left from the bottom here I cut into a little strip with banners on stamped happy birthday now the happy birthday actually came from um the country birdhouse stamp set which was one that we used at the previous card and a cuppa so i used this particular happy birthday here and the idea was that you inked up the happy stamped it cleaned the stamp really well and then inked up the birthday this, because this is photopolymer you can actually see where to do that on your ink i might use that use this in a minute but we'll see so that's how i did the happy birthday so that this bit of here this bit here is what's been cut off this piece and then that bit you've already got so that was sort of fairly straightforward and then i simply stamped the vanilla so this is the bit where the vanilla actually um the Latin name is still on there um, and then stamped one on the back on the, the flap for the envelope. Oh, and I, and I put one on the front as well, so I kind of went a bit mad. So that was that one. The second one that was the sample um, was a little bit more involved, but not too much. Again, cut off a piece before started the fussy cutting. Um, so my instructions were to simply trim off one and a half centimeter off the this piece before actually starting to fussy cut. And then you've got enough to make your, your banner here um, and then fussy cut it all. Um, other than that, it's simply then, once it's all been, so around the leaves, and around the circle um some of it i mean like this bit didn't get cut around the circle i just just got, just got a v there um and i didn't bother going in this intricate bit here either i just left it as it was the field lawn and garden is a rather sweet piece so it's part again part of the lovely and sweet stamp set so that we use, I use that on there. Um, this has got dimensionals on and there's some dimensionals um, underneath this banner and that. And again, stamped on the uh, inside and I'm pretty sure I stamped on the envelope too. Wherever I've put it, right in front of me. There you go. So I stamped that as well. Then the third one um, was a bit more straightforward in the cutting and that is simply cut uh, the, the gold piece. So luckily I took a couple of trimmers with me. Um, so we trimmed the gold piece so that it measured 10 by 11 and a half centimetres. Then we trimmed this Im the image so that it measured nine by ten and a half. So it's exactly uh, one centimeter smaller on both dimensional di dimensions. And then because we had trimmed a piece off here and a piece off that one, um, there is enough to make slightly different um, background for the sentiment. So I actually used a strip of both of those to to highlight the sentiment and again the sentiment actually came from the um, birdhouse stamp set so which was here the hello friend so we used that one for that um, and then again inside some cocoa beans and then the envelope again had oops cocoa beans on it so those were the three that I took with me this morning. 
And it's always lovely to see the different variations people make. Um, I'm not one that says that because this is what I've made, this is what you've got to copy. It's my, I like to say that, you know, mine is purely for inspiration. Very flattered if you want to copy it. Um, but otherwise, um, if you want to pick up any ideas from any of these cards and combine them or do your own thing, yeah, then you're more than welcome to. So it's um, obviously we find that some of the people who've not been crafting very long find it easier just to copy. And then people who've been crafting for ages, like me, and uh, quite a few of the other ladies then, we they just go off and do their own thing, which is very encouraging. That's what I like to see. Anyway, so, right, my kit for today which is under here, uh, is under here. So I've got my kit, I've got my envelope, which I don't need. And I did um and ah uh, and think, wonder whether or not I could mess around, because I haven't, I haven't actually done a um, landscape card for ages. Um, those of you who've watched this before know that I'm not overly keen on landscape cards where the fold is at the top tend to have when I actually deliberately make a landscape card I will have my fold on the side there but such is life I've got to make do with what I have and that's fine so I have my image I am going to I'm going to color it so although these are black and white with some this is a peak and pie circle you can there's nothing nothing to stop you from actually colouring the image either. So that's what I am going to do. So I just grab some of my blends. So I've got my bubble bath, light and dark. So I'm going to colour the flowers, I think. The bubble bath. So I'm just going to do some of the light to start off with and then a little bit of the dark. And then finish it off again, just quickly. I'll take that to the edge, just to blend it all in and just to bring the colour. But because these points haven't had the colour over all of them, you'll find that the that outside bit will be lighter. Once it dries, you can't always see it straight off. Right, so that's my flowers done. So we've got some almond pods there. Um, let's see, let's think. Um, now that's pecan pie, so let's See, I might just do the light for the those. Um, apologies in advance if you start to hear barking. And I've got my daughter's dog here. She's gone on holiday to the Isle of Wight on fishing. So she couldn't take the dog. So we've had him for the last few days. Oops, I'm peak and pie. I'm going to use my dark to highlight. Like so. I don't think it's too lost. Okay, that's that. And then last but not least, do the leaves. Now I have I've got I've got mossy no it's old olive. I did have mossy meadow. Dark mossy meadow, where's my light mossy meadow? There we go. So I'm just going to do. Oh. Why is it? 
I always pick up the ones that really need to get replaced. So this is supposed to be the light mossy meadow, but as you can see, it's actually quite dark. But hey ho. My goodness, this is not good. I just noticed a bit that I hadn't done. Right, let's see what have I got else. So this is, where's my dark old olive? Let's see how that is in comparison. Oh, maybe I'll just use that. Dark old olive. So I'm going to end up with having one leaf that is a slightly lighter colour, but hey, that happens sometimes. been a really nice week here in the UK. We've had lots of sunshine, don't really want to jinx it, but hey, it's been good. So hopefully it lasts a bit longer. It doesn't end up just being one week in May, which is our summer. So we've got the annual catalogue, the new annual catalogue's now on the go. Some lovely new things in there. I've got an open house here on Saturday, so every year I do an open house, or I try to. Uh, I think COVID was like the only time I couldn't have one. Um, so, and everybody or anyone who lives local who's a crafter is more than welcome to come along. Um, If you do live near me, I live in Woking, as I said, and the um, postcode is RG40, um, then drop me a line and I can send you my address. don't particularly want to pronounce it here on Facebook stroke YouTube. This, is, this will go on YouTube afterwards. Um, and we start at, it's a, just a drop in at any time between 10.30 and 1.30 doors shut at 1 so that I know that people will be leaving by 1.30 um, and there'll be lots to see, there's some make and takes and I do a buy one get one free sale um, so where I sell my retired or my recently retired stamping up items all lovingly be used. Oh, there are some, actually I had to say that there are some stamp sets where I didn't actually get around to using every single one of them. So it's going to make that just a bit too odd being so light. Right, okay, that's all I'm going to do because otherwise you're going to be driven nuts with me uh, sitting here yabbering on oh yes yeah, so buy one get one free um and then which basically means for every pound that you spend on my retired items you get a pound to spend on items in the new catalogue so absolute bargain and i just realized i've just done the thing that i said to everybody not to do which was to cut off before you um actually started cutting luckily i've still got space on the top there so i'm going to do that now before i 
in real doodoos. So let's do that. So I'll get my trimmer and I just need to trim off one and a half centimeters, which is fine, luckily. I'm glad I realized before I had gone too far, but hey, it's for me to make the mistakes so that you learn and don't make the mistakes, she says, in the hope that you do learn from my mistakes. And it's up to you as to how close you want to go to, with, to the actual flower as well. Some, of, some people like to cut all the white off. Other people don't mind having a little bit of the white showing. It's, a, it's personal preference as to how close you go. Oh, sorry, I've got the dog at my feet and I'm not sure what he wants. So the image on that one, it's bled slightly, so I'm going to cut it a bit closer to the line like that. Take some of that off. I must remember to try and keep this level under the camera so you can actually see what I am doing. You think after all this time that I would remember that. Whoever says that making videos for Facebook and YouTube was easy was lying. The crafting bit's easy, but it's all the other bits. Remembering to keep things in the sh in shot and things, which I'm not very good at doing, I know. I don't have someone who can sit next to me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. So, I've got a few bits to trim off here. So I can trim this bit off. Like so. And I can trim this bit off here. Like that. So I was talking to you about the open house. So I will do on Saturday morning a brief uh, walk around my craft room so you can see what we'll be getting up to. Right, so that's my, that's my image. Now I think it would just about fit on here. I don't know which way to put it though. That way, the problem is I don't really like all that white there, but I'm not too sure what to do about it at the moment. It's going to be a problem trying to cut it all out. I've done this in the past where you just kind of go up the stem, cut the bits out and then you kind of glue the stems back together again. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So that's that bit out. Because I don't have a, a, you know, a craft knife. So that's okay. And again, I'm going to do it this way. Just need to remember not to cut the stems off. Otherwise you've got leaves that are just floating around in nothing. Which will look quite amusing. Although I could, I could, of course, just simply take that leaf off because it's hidden by, it's got the um, almond nut over it. So if that really infuriated you, having to sort of put things back together again, very carefully. But I just wanted, because I just thought you'd see the gold through it. So it would look a bit odd not to see it. That little bit of white that I'm going to forget about. So let's see now. I'm going to put it that way. So my thoughts were to have it going like this. And then I was going to put 
for my sentiment down here. So I've got that, I've got that. And I've got that bit. So we could still do that and just hide that end of the, the stalk. Maybe. We'll see. Right, okay, I'm mumbling. Just realise that must get on. So I'm actually going to use just sending a bit of love your way, which is one of the sentiments from the lovely and sweet stamp set. And I'm going to use some pecan pie ink. I thought this sentiment would look quite nice with it being vertical. So let's see now. Right, any minute now that dog is going to start at ears, but you can't hear him probably, luckily. Yes, there we go. So that's that. That's going to go on there. Like that. This is going to go behind. So I'm going to banner one end. And if you're never sure what to do, just simply cut up the middle and then go from the two corners to create the point, like so. So that's going to go there. Now I need to cut it, let's see, I think I need to trim it on that. Luckily there's sort of a vague line going across, so I'm just going to use my scissors to do that. Otherwise I would normally go use the trimmer. So we have that and that, like that, and we have that image on here. Now do I glue it? But I know what I do need to do is that I need to actually colour in the stalks. Because they're looking a bit odd. And what have we got here? Got some dark lost lagoon, so it's a sort of a, a dark sort of a green of sorts. Just to take away that starkness of that white. Otherwise it does look slightly odd. Concentrating because that's better. It looks it's not so <clears throat> noticeable now. So I'm going to put them on that way. They probably weren't intended originally for them to go that way, but hey. So the question is, how am I going to stick them together? And I think I might just use a glue dot. I roll it and then place it on, it should hold them together. She says, I can actually get, get my finger away before it decides to move. And it also means that I can then pop everything up on a bit of uh, dimensionals. It's like performing surgery. Right, okay, dimensionals. Well, yeah, I have them to hand. I know where they are. Makes a change. So let's pop these up on some dimensionals. Oops, don't need it quite so close. You can go mad with these, but you don't really need to. Right, 
that. Now I've just realised that I haven't actually glued the paper on. Would help. So let's get some glue. Getting ahead of myself there. Central. Like that. Then <clears throat> let's put this on here. I'm not going to put this on, fix this on just yet, just in case I haven't left enough space. But roughly speaking, it will go there. And then this piece will go here. Like so. See those. That glue dot is actually holding that bit up, which is quite, quite good. And they're not going to separate. So this is going to get glued onto here. Oh, I could go nuts. I could put some more dimensionals on it. Live dangerously. So that can go on here. This needs some glue on it. So put that down the centre. And then put it on here so that I've got it where I want it to go. Like that. And then I can put the whole thing again on dimensionals. dots and what I want. Just realise that's not very straight. That's better. Put some more dimensionals on. Put four on. Live dangerously. I'm going to put that on here. do an innie and we need to do the envelope very quickly. So there's my piece of white for the innie. And there's my envelope. And then that was the stamp that I wanted to use. Now I'm not going to stamp the whole image on here because it, it would just take over. Um, so I am just literally going to stamp like an ink up one sort of portion of it so this is the envelope and we're going to put that on there like that like so and then because this is landscape i need to put something in that corner we also need to remove that bit of paper off there just in case i end up trying to stamp that portion of it. Probably won't, but as a cautionary measure, we have to make sure that the stamp doesn't have little bits all over it. And again, I'm just going to, I think we're going to have it more going up the edge, like that. There we go. Where grid paper comes in handy because it doesn't matter if you stamp on that as well. And then some ink. So put that on the inside. Like so. There's that, there's that. Um, so there's that. I haven't, don't know whether I should put an embellishment on that or not. Um, I did like those blots that were um, around. And I could 
do some Winker Stella splots. Let's see now. Make sure because you want some in the t in this bit here, and then you're just literally going to knock it and put some dots on. I don't know if you can see that now, but that's got some. Let's see. Go that way. You can see now that it's got some sparkly bits on. Extra bits. Right, so that's my card. There you go. I think I'm done. Otherwise, I'm going to go completely over the top and go and ruin it. I know me. I'm very much a less is more person. So, that's... This is today's card from this afternoon. So as I said, it's uh, the Nature Sweetness uh, Specialty DSP, uh, the double-sided paper. And I've also used the lovely and sweet stamp set uh, along with um, one of the dies from the coordinating lovely and sweet um, dies. Uh, and then these are the three that went, whoops, not the dimensionals. Well, that's two of them. I went to the card in the cupboard this morning. There's the third. Buried it. I'll just put the card out. So that was the first one. It's a second. Uh, that's the third. So those were the three that went this morning. And that's the fourth one from now. So I hope you've been, uh, enjoyed watching that. Um, if you would like to purchase any of the supplies, then uh, love to help you out. Uh, just get in touch or you can go to uh, oakfieldcrafts.stampingup.net and purchase online from my online store. As I said, I've got the open house on Saturday. Um, next week will be a... Uh, be a stamping and creating day so i'll have some more new things to share with you from the new annual catalogue and in the meantime i hope you have a good week and um, hope to see you saturday um or next week take care bye